you know, as the words were coming out of my mouth, I kind of wanted to just suck them back in. Hi everyone, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I have my Ipsy, this is not the Icon box, this is just, no, nope. so it's a, <laughs> it's a boxy charm, I think. Um, is it? Okay, so how about we, we stop, we back up, and we'll figure out exactly what box it is. The only thing I can tell you is that it is for October. So at least, at least I have the month and the year. It's, it's 2023. It's not a year old. So, you know, we're, we're heading off to a, a good start at least. You know what? This has to be my BoxyCharm because I looked at my checking account and I believe they charge you separately. It's like 30 something and then 15 something. So I'm pretty sure I pay about $46, almost 47 for the box in total. You know what I discovered actually? I, because I got an email that said for six months I was only charged $12 because I had the premium and now it's been boosted up to 15 Honestly, I didn't even realize it, but I think I kept saying, why am I only getting charged $12 and change? That is the reason why at least there's just one mystery of this box and the company that has been solved, thank goodness. I do pay for this myself. I do not get PR. Not that any of you would think I did. I'm just throwing it out there. So uh, let's see, ah yes, the obligatory single piece of paper that is supposed to protect whatever is in this box. Does it most of the time? No. This box you're getting five full-size products and then if you get the boost, that equals your sixth product. And yeah, it is a boxy charm because this is what they give us now. The Icon box is a quarterly box and I just don't remember whether it's like August or September that we get it. <laughs> you, th you think I would. So this theme is Glamoween. They're also going to have their advent calendar. Again, I did not get it last year because I think if you get the boxes, you sort of kind of have all of the products that are going to be in that thing. Okay, what you lovely people told me last week is the Power Picks are the two products that they pick for you. And here, I don't know if it's all of them, but here are basically what they are showcasing as the Power Picks. And the, what is it called? The Beauty Boost is that single product. Once again, thank you for those who clarify that information for me. Let's get into the box, see what I got, then I will go into my phone, into the app, so that I can get more information about the products. Okay, so apparently I got three add-ons. I remember picking add-ons. I don't remember what I picked as add-ons, but I think I got charged about $20 for those particular items. So the first thing I have here is from Beauty Creations, and it's such a pretty green. And this says, take me back take me back to what Ooh, it is a green apple roller gloss i haven't had a roller gloss since i don't know the 90s no that's probably a lie i probably got some kind of roller gloss in one of these boxes over the last six years as i said super pretty packaging though i do love green apple can't smell it yet let's just put it on my hand for a minute put it put it on my hand Okay, something, oh, I was going to say something is coming out, and oh, the scent sure does. Hold on, got to try this on. Since it's Halloween, I'll use my little Hocus Pocus. Okay, the scent is absolutely intoxicating. Obviously, I had something on, but this is just clear anyway, and as you can see, it doesn't show up green. It has no taste, though. If you like green apple Jolly Ranchers and you open up the bag, that's what this smells like. Feels really nice. It's on the thicker side, so I'm going to be happy playing with that. I wonder if I bought that or if it was included in... I guess we'll find out in a second. Okay, the next thing is the Fenty Heat Gloss Bomb, and this one is in Lemon Lava. I have two of these. One color I prefer over the other. They do have that heat that they're talking about that it's not as bad as say the Too Faced um what is it called lip injection or the lip injection extreme but it does have like that spice that I happen to like do I have this one already why do I think I have this one 
I, I, I don't know, but I'm going to try it on too. Why not? Let me take this stuff off first. They do have a very nice sweet scent, like a bakery scent, but it's not overpowering. Yeah, this has just the right amount of sparkle to it. It's not going to look weird on your lips if, like, you have lips like mine. I don't think, oh, little, little stringy there. I don't think it's going to look weird on anyone's. I can totally feel it, and I said, I happen to like that. So it's also just a very comfortable gloss that, because it's on the thicker side, it, it adheres to your lips nicely. So, okay. This is from Iapoc, blech. Ahi Apothecary, and it is the Save Face Serum. It says a wonderful blend of ginseng stem cells, hyaluronic acid, malachite, moringa to help firm, boost, balance, and hydrate. Interesting. Glass bottle comes with a nice pump, which I like, and it also has that little pump cover, which I'll probably lose in about five minutes. I, I can't read the ingredients. I'll have to look up on the you know, something either on the website or myself and I'll let you know what I think about the ingredients. It says that it's a serum. Okay. It has not a nice scent for me anyway. It's a little florally and a little medicinal. It's a thicker serum, but it did absorb into my hand and thinned out a little bit uh, quickly. And so far, my hand feels really, really nice. Um, okay, I guess we will have to wait and see. Again, I like the pump aspect because it's not going to let the air get into it. And whether or not that has an effect on whatever other ingredients in here, I'm not sure yet. Okay, this is from Wander Beauty, a very familiar brand to us if you get subscription boxes. And this is the Riviera palette and is a blush and bronzer palette. I probably have something very similar to this in my collection from Wander Beauty. I'm hoping that the colors will be different enough. I would find it, but yeah, that's not a possibility at the moment. Standard Wander Beauty packaging. Here is the color story. It looks like it's on the lighter side and the blush and the highlighter seem to have the same amount of sparkle to them. But let's see, this one is called Portofino. This one's called Capri. These are the two bronzers. Those are those two. We'll see how the tones look on my skin. These are very, very soft, but extremely powdery. I don't know if you can see that in the pans themselves. I don't think that blush is going to work on me, but of course I'm going to give it a shot. The highlighter is on the peachy side. You can barely see it, but it's right there. It looks like it's going to be one of those highlighters that gives you more of that subtle glow, which is not a bad thing. And uh, let's try on the blush for a minute. All right, let's use this. I have to organize my brushes, but that's besides the point. Let's use this Wonder Beauty brush. You can see when I tap it in how much kick up there is in the pan. Well, it's not overly pigmented, which again is something that I happen to like. You know, it's, it's odd. You think that a color is not going to work on you because that's a very, very bright color. Maybe it's better because it's on top of my existing blush, but honestly, I'm not too mad at that. You know, sometimes you just gotta try different things. See what I mean? I don't look like I just splash highlighter on my face. Sometimes I just put something on my nose just to, you know, because maybe I want to look like Rudolph. You, you just never know what kind of mood you're going to be in. Now what the hey, let's try on the highlighter. It's peachy, which I'm wearing a pinky look. As a matter of fact, I am wearing, what is it? Back to my tried and true, the Stila Glitter and Glow. I think this one is in the Oldie Book Goodie Kitten Karma. These are still some of the best liquid glittery eyeshadows that I've ever tried. All right, let's try this. This is my Wayne Goss brush number 10. Obviously, I also have highlighter on already. 
From what I can see, it's not too bad. Even though it's peachy, again, it's hard to tell sometimes when you have other makeup on. But, okay, this is a pleasant surprise. All right, let's see what else I have here. This is from Volition. It is their Chocolate Macadamia Hydrating Mask. Hmm, yum. You know, I have to open this because if it smells like chocolate macadamia, okay, it has a chocolate smell. I think I was hoping that it was probably going to be a little bit stronger. Let me take this off my hand a minute, and I'm just going to put some here. All right, it looks like melted milk chocolate. Oh, it's very creamy. It definitely has a nice chocolate scent. That's going to be a very pleasant experience. I mean, of course, if you like chocolate. Does anybody not like chocolate? I mean, I won't judge you or anything. I'm just I'm just completely curious if there's anyone out there that, that doesn't like chocolate. Volition does have some very nice uh, products with some very nice ingredients. And I, of course, I've said very nice several times. And you're used to that. Okay, this is from Kenzie. And it's Berry Beauty. Ooh, Kenzie makes some really nice perfumes. They are not the most longest lasting, so I do usually keep these. Oh, I didn't even show you the actual box. It's kind of pretty. I like getting perfumes in these little sizes because I can switch it up. I can actually finish them. And uh, so far, the ones from Kenzie, most of them I've really enjoyed. So let's see here. Ooh. Oh, that is really nice. It definitely has a sweet and fruity scent to it. Yeah, it's got berries, but it also has a little bit of that crispness in there. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Finally, I got a perfume that I'm going to really, really enjoy. And even though I have a lot of perfumes, you know, you just want to repurchase the ones that make you happy. I'm just going around smelling myself all day. You know, as the words were coming out of my mouth, I kind of wanted to just suck them back in. I think I actually purchased that. For some reason, that's sticking in my memory. So this is from Formula Z, and it says, I am so pretty. And I am so not aware of what it could be. Oh, it says a shadow stick duo. I'm not a huge shadow stick person. I recently tried these uh, Trestique ones that I got. They are not as nice as I would have liked them to be. I have several. But let's see. Oh, wow. Okay. Again, not what I expected. Um... Okay, now I get it. So, oh, that's a really pretty color, though. Cute component. I love that this is clear so you can see what's in there and how much you are getting. Very, very pretty. And that is a beautiful metallic color. Look at the shine on that. that. Let's see how this is. You can see it's just a flat doe foot applicator. I'm going to put it next to it first so you can see. I'm silent because, um, is there a difference? This one is the liquid. This one is the stick. And honestly, um, let's see, can you see it there? Do you guys see a difference? Let me put this on top. Because I could see a difference if this stick form was not metallic. That might have been, you know, complimentary. And, um... Yeah, putting the metallic, the liquid one on top. For my eyes, I, I'm not seeing a difference. It's very pretty. I'm just not seeing you would... Okay, put it this way. You would think they would have some contrast to each other if it was going to be a duo, if that makes sense. Okay, here we have... Ooh, from Huda Beauty. It is the Lip Contour 2.0. It's a pinky brown. Let's see, I have to try it on. Hello. Would you like to come out and, and, and say hello? Would you, would you? I hate ripping packages, but I have to because it won't come out. I do like her aesthetic, they're very lightweight. 
Pinky Brown used to be one of my main colors that I would wear, or like a rum raisin. There was a lipstick that was called Rum Raisin. It was drugstore. I don't remember which brand, but it was like my go-to. I would get down to the nub and go out and buy myself another. But that is a very pretty color. It's a little cool toned. Um, also, because I'm wearing a pink look today, we are going to try it. I will say I think the color is perfect for me. So that is just the lip liner with nothing added to it. Let me like put on... This is from Eva Luz. I had gotten this and the bronzer when they were in Ulta Beauty. Okay, I think it goes really, really nicely with uh, that lipstick, and it might be just something that I would wear by itself. I have to get more used to putting lip liner on. I think just because it calls so much attention to my lips and I'm not happy with them, that's probably one of the reasons that I've been so wary of it. Uh, let's see how these dried down. That was the liquid side. Now this was the liquid with the stick. There might be a tinge of transfer there. Let's see when I try to take them off. Okay, they come off very easily, but the stick sticks around. <laughs> no, no pun intended there. And the last thing is a palette, and it's an iconic London palette. I have several of these. Do I have any of them out? No. Mm, no, I don't. This is called Booming and Gleaming Eyeshadow Palette. So no, I don't have this one. Typical fashion for Iconic London, um, very shiny packaging. Not a bad weight to the palette. This is raised over here. It is cardboard. And I've kind of said it before, but their layout for some reason bothers me. I Don't ask me to explain that aspect. Um, it has an okay mirror. Does it have a film over it? This is a very neutral palette, which I've truly been loving lately. And you can't bend this back, by the way. So I'm trying to decide what the layout of this is. In other words, are we talking about going this way or this way? And I think that we're going to talk about going this way as far as the color stories. But yet, somehow, it doesn't quite make sense because in this particular row, you have three metallics or shimmers and only one matte. This is the only one, this row down here, that I could say is more cohesive. You have the light, the uh, crease color, and then you have this either dark chocolate or you could use it as liner with the one metallic. Maybe they don't have intentions of it being that way. It has like one little deep purple shade that's like the standout shade. Very nice texture, a little on the powdery side. Let's try this. This one is called Boss Babe. I don't know whether I call this one black or not. It's, uh, it's hard for me to tell because it looks like it just has a either chocolatey or purple base. Let's try some of the metallics. This one is called Extra. It's a pretty bronzy gold. The metallics go on very, very nicely. And... Let's try High Key. That's also in the Goldie Peach family. Okay, I'm gonna have to play with it again and see, you know, what my thoughts are. I, I wish I could figure out this mirror and whether, okay, yes, there is a film over the mirror. That makes so much more sense. Okay, overall, off the bat, I think it's a really nice box. I can't wait to see what I purchased compared to what was supposed to be in the box. So now looking at, you know, I didn't pay too much attention, but now looking at this, apparently I have received several of the products. I did receive the eyeshadow palette and the blush palette that was featured. They also had an Ofer palette, which is very pretty. It's called Miami. So the first thing they have, they picked this for me. It's the Iconic London Booming and Gleaming Eyeshadow Palette. Let's see what they are suggesting that the retail price of this is. So they value this at $62. You're getting 24 grams of product. Do I think they're overpriced? Yeah. Next thing they are talking about is the Wander Beauty Riviera Blush and Bronzer Palette. This is $38. You're getting 7.2 grams of of product, not palette, product. So believe it or not, I actually picked the Volition Beauty Chocolate Macadamia Hydrating Mask with Hyaluronic Acid. And you can save 20% at Volition if you use the code IPSY20. 
20 This mask is valued at $45. Okay, so I'm going to be excited to use this and report back to you guys. I really think the sensorial experience of it is going to be enjoyable. Let's hope the product matches the expectations. Also picked the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0 Automatic Lip Pencil. These are $21. Apparently, I also picked the Formula Z Cosmetics I'm So Pretty Shadow Stick Duo. This guy is $24. My goodness, you're getting 0.5 grams, I think, of total product. It says a glistening rose eyeshadow stick and a liquid eyeshadow duo supercharges your eyes. I, I don't know. I still have my thoughts about the fact that the colors are so very, very similar to each other. I like the color, but I would have loved to see a little bit of diversity between the two. Okay, the add-on was the Beauty Creations Green Apple Roller Gloss. It just sounded too yummy, I think, for me not to get it. It's not giving me the price. Yes, I am correct that I also picked the Kenzie Fragrance Berry Beauty Fragrance. You can save 30% with KENBB30. This is a deluxe mini and it is 10 milliliters. And again, apparently the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Heat also was an add-on. I think these are 20 these are now 26. They used to be like 24, I think. Or maybe just the heat ones are more money. But I wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't $12. Because I don't pay more than 50% for any of the add-on products. Which if you've noticed, you have to be very careful at looking at the retail price. Because something may look good and you're like, wait a minute. That's only like $10 off or something. So I probably paid $12 for this. I'm really glad that I did because I love these. And I'm almost out of my other two. Okay, the Beauty Boost... Oh, it's not I Apothecary, it's E Ill Apothecary Save the Face Serum. It's a $78 serum. This is supposed to be a deeply hydrating, regenerating serum. It's enriched with blends of gemstones. I honestly don't think gemstones are going to do anything for your face. If you know differently, please tell me. Okay, so what do I think about my overall box? I think my $45 is absolutely worth it. I'm very happy with the products that I received. So we're talking about the Wonder Beauty palette, the um, chocolate mask, which I can't wait to use, the Iconic London palette, the Huda Beauty, and this one. This is the only one I'm like, hmm, you know what I mean? But again, it is so subjective because what I may like, you may not like. Some of you may think this is an amazing box. Some of you may think this, well, it's an okay box, but I prefer more makeup. I prefer skincare. I think it was a decent mix of products. So those are just my opinions, and I really do look forward to hearing your opinions. And I want to thank you again for going through this with me. You're all amazingly wonderful people that I am so incredibly grateful for. I hope you have an amazing day, an amazing night, depending upon when you're watching this. And I'll see you really soon in my next video. Much, much love, everybody. Bye.